Please watch the video in high quality. This video shows how to draw lines using the Unity built-in uh, debug draw line method like so. This method can be used for debugging purposes. Uh, if you are after more permanent solution to draw lines, I put in the descriptions link to videos that utilize other methods to draw lines. We will be drawing lines with mouse clicks in this video, but the code can be modified to feed line points from other uh, sources. So to begin with, I will create an empty game object and we'll call it um, the bug lines and uh, under my asset I'll create a new folder uh, and we'll call it scripts and open that folder and I'll create a new C sharp uh, file and we'll call it draw the bug lines and after this file is being created, uh, I will drag it and drop it into a newly created empty game object. So I'll select this file and drop it on the new object and select the game object and make sure that the debug lines is attached script and then double click on the script to open it. In the script file, I added a public camera uh, variable uh, and then a uh, public color, that's a variable that assigned by default to red. And then a list of type vector3 to define the vertices for the line. And in the start method, I assign the current camera variable to the main camera, which is the main camera, uh, which or the only camera I'm using. In the, the update method, I had, uh, first we will check for whether the user clicked on the left mouse click if it does we get the mouse pixel position and using input mouse position and then we assign its z value uh, to the uh, camera near a clip with a bit of offset so we could see the the line and then i'll get the mouse world position uh, using the screen to world point method uh, from the camera and by passing the mouse pixel position. And then we'll add, in, we'll add the mouse world position uh, to the list of vector three that we uh, initiated here. And, and we will also check for if the user uh, press the right click, then uh, we, will, we, we will reset the list of vector three so that the previous line will be erased and a new line will start. And uh, every time uh, in the, uh, at the end of the update method, we will call the update debug line method, which is here. What happened in the update debug method, it's looped through all the vertices that we are creating here every time the user click a uh, left click on the mouse and then call the our method debug.drawLine. This method is drawing the debugging lines and we pass the, uh, it, it requires two points to draw each line. So we will pass the iterator i and then the next line within the uh, list of vector three uh, points that define the line. And then we'll pass the line uh, color, which is assigned by default to red, but the user could assign that. And there is other parameters that we could pass. The next parameter would be the amount of, uh, I think, the, the time in milliseconds or seconds uh, that uh, needed for the line to stay visible. But if you don't, um, if we don't specify it, so it, it will last for each frame. But since we calling this method every from the update within the update method that's been it's be called every frame and in this case we don't need to pass the parameter for time so if we save and open the uh, uh, editor 
So back in the editor, if I click the play button, in order for us to see the lines, I will need to activate the gizmos and then uh, start clicking and we can see the lines out there. If I uh, press the right mouse click, the lines would be erased and I could also change the color of the lines if we need it to and draw in blue. And that's it. This is how we use debug lines uh, built-in uh, method of Unity to do lines for testing or debugging. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.